What's going on guys? Today I want to talk about uh, Firebase GeoFire performance on Android. So GeoFire is a library for uh, location search with Firebase. If you don't know how it works, check this uh, post. It has a pretty comprehensive sample uh, here on GitHub, you can get it. So I have a bunch of stuff in here, I think not all documented. So I have an example of how to use the GeoFire with Recycler View, how to send push notifications with the Firebase cloud messaging. What else? I have a example of map here and uh, different ways of uh, saving a uh, location with a geofire like rx java uh, creating a urn point and uh, cloud function trigger which is the, the latest uh, stuff so yeah so i'm gonna use this sample to show how it works Let's look at the database first. So I have uh, just one user saved and uh, GeoFire for location search. Let me show my I have three locations. Those three locations and uh, I chose uh, stay at uh, Fort Lauderdale so I see only people 50 kilometers from my location uh, where is the code fish users here it is geofire let me find the instantiation here it is I create geofire from database uh, of child geofire Oops. So, yeah, I instantiate GeoFire with this uh, node. And uh, look for users uh, 50 kilometers radius from me. Then you have to add this uh, listener and uh, just fetch uh, keys of the users. So, yeah, if you don't know how it works, you know, check this uh, post first. I have uh, like those three handy buttons to add users uh, different locations just to you add uh, somebody in New York you don't see him the same for Boston and uh, if you add somebody in uh, Lauderdale you see him uh, edit right away here's the code for adding users I use Rx Java for now okay so that's the a small introduction and now let's uh, look at the performance of GeoFire. So how it works is uh, that first you fetch uh, keys with the GeoFire. With GeoFire you just fetch keys, right? And then with the knowing the key you have to fetch the user. So GeoFire stores only keys as you see in here. That's the user key from this node so you fetch keys and then only then you fetch the actual di data that you need so fetching keys should be pretty fast right and uh, the whole stuff happening in here uh, so yeah in the start of the method I set start time then uh, on key entered is triggered for each user added and then after uh, all keys fetched you get this method triggered on your query ready and then i take the end time and print uh, time taken to fetch uh, the keys so that's just the keys and then you need to fetch your users or any other data that you use Let's see. 
what we have in here for now. Okay, so that's uh, 1.7 seconds taken to fetch keys. And uh, I have... Uh, Yeah, a few users, right? Three in uh, Lauderdale. Okay, now let's uh, scale it up and let's add thousand users each time I press the button. Right, uh, now let's try to add somebody in New York. It should be adding 1000 users with just one click. Yeah, here it is. My browser is dead already. Okay, let's uh, collapse this stuff. That's too much. Right, and you don't see anybody in uh, Fort Lauderdale, right? Let's just uh, close and uh, check the, the time uh, taken now to fetch the keys. So look at that time, it's uh, 2.7 seconds already, right? Oops, no, let's add uh, another thousand in uh, Boston. Okay. Let's try it now. It's uh, three seconds already. Let's add a few thousand more. A few more. You know, just to give the realistic uh, database look, because uh, of course when you setting up your sample projects, you have like five users, right? But uh, this is not realistic for real apps. In real apps, if it's successful, you're gonna have thousands of users, right? Okay, I added like four more thousands. Let's try it again. Okay, slowing down. Yeah, that's five seconds, right? Well, and uh, as you see, it uh, goes on and on. The more users you add, the slower it gets, and uh, what I wanted to point out that those users are not from my location. You don't even see them, right? So why is everything slowed down? And uh, when I actually have no data for me to display, like you shouldn't even fetch those users, right? Because they're not on my location. I didn't go through the Firebase, uh, I mean, GeoFire implementation, how it works. So it bas basically doesn't matter whether you fetch them or you don't fetch them, the time taken, right, for that. And uh, it affects a lot, that's really slow, five seconds, that's five seconds just to fetch the keys and then you need to fetch your actual data, which could take about the same time, you know, two, three seconds extra to fetch data, you know, load images, etc. And uh, yeah, let's add more. Well, let's add just a uh, thousand to my location. Okay. It's uh, getting slow. UI. Just to see that there is no difference in speed whether you add users to your location or other location. Yeah, let's close it. That's too much. Right, it, now it's six seconds, right? So it goes the same way, like, doesn't matter whether it's uh, at your location or other location. Which is the point one for considering GeoFire as uh, the way to search by location. So as you see, it doesn't scale that well. 
it gets just slower and slower and slower. So obviously this speed makes uh, GeoFire unusable, right? Like waiting, uh, forcing users to wait for like five seconds, six seconds, ten seconds to just load the data. Uh, this is uh, unacceptable, right? So what you can do, and with Firebase, uh, from this uh, simplicity of Firebase, you know, you gotta find smart ways to to really make it fast. For example, I use here, I use uh, just like a root node geofire right for the whole for the whole planet basically and obviously it doesn't work that fast so what you can do is uh, let's say this is our planet right what you can do is uh, divide like uh, make squares not here Let's say like make those kind of squares like yeah yeah so basically you know divide the whole planet to like small squares and uh, based on uh, your location you just use uh, this square right for example or this one if you really care about uh, the users uh, close to your location right so that instead of this uh, route where you fetch like all the users around the globe you'll just uh, fetch uh, users uh, close to you so basically it would be something like so you would have like a bunch of geofire with uh, like square round right like a row and column or something like that uh, so instead of storing everything in a geofire node, you would have a bunch of those with users uh, uh, separated to, to each one. It uh, could work uh, up to one point, but uh, if you have uh, still, you know, if you have like 5,000 users in uh, one city, you would still be pretty slow because you would uh, be fetching 5,000 keys. And as you saw, with just a few thousand keys, it's already super slow. But you don't have to wait for all keys to be fetched, right? There is on key entered, and uh, basically just for, let's say, after fetching 20 keys, you can already start displaying the UI, right? Which is like kind of like pagination. Right, so we have two solutions to our problem. Either divide the whole planet to like small uh, squares and uh, fetch like only that data close to you which is uh, useful up to one point i mean if you have uh, many users at that city you'll still fetch a bunch of data and the second is uh, not wait for the whole uh, keys to be fetched right as soon as you fetch the first 10 or 20 as many like small uh, amount you need you display it right away and then fetching all the rest is going on in the background, right? So you don't care about that. And then you uh, implement uh, pagination with the, the rest of the keys, right? So there is no problem. Well, what if you want to display users sorted uh, by distance from you, right? And uh, in the Firebase, in the geofire in geofire they not sorted uh, from distance from you obviously they just uh, I don't know what's the value of uh, some of the keys in there but uh, yeah they not sorted from distance from you what you will end up with is just just to display users uh, sorted from distance from you, you will have to fetch all the keys, right? And that uh, could be like 10,000 keys. And it's gonna be still the same slow uh, time, you know, slow performance, like six seconds just to fetch keys, then you sort them, which could take some time as well. Like, and uh, uh, with Firebase, you'll have to really you know, find some smart solutions 
like how to solve that and uh, actually don't know how to solve this problem what I suggest is better using some other services like Algolia It's a great searching uh, service, uh, what, what they call, yeah. So how they work is that they index all your uh, locations and uh, data. Well, actually, data with locations in there, on their server. So that basically it's kind of like a second version of Firebase database, right? But with locations and... Uh, they support pagination out of the box. You know, those uh, horrible times with like six seconds just to fetch uh, keys, you know. With Algolia, it's just 20 milliseconds to fetch like the first, first uh, page, which is 20, 20 items, right? Just takes instantaneous compared to the GeoFire where you, you fetch keys and then you only, after you fetch keys, you sort them by distance and then you fetch data actual data right with algolia you like pass uh, your location and that's it you get the data actual data that you need to display right away in the in the first query with pagination uh, in, uh, in out of the box so you know <clears throat> depends on your application of course but if uh, it's something that you need to display from a distance from yourself. Be aware that Fire, uh, GeoFire is not gonna perform well on a big scale. You'll, you'll really have to like find out uh, some smart solutions to fetch a small number of stuff or like uh, sort them in a database somehow. I don't know really. So that's why I recommend Algolia over GeoFire if you wanna really scale your application. Yeah, that's it uh, <laughs> for GeoFire performance. Click like if you like the video, subscribe and uh, take care.